So one of the essential pieces of truly providing resident-centered care is making sure that our team members have the tools that they need to provide that care always to their clients. We don't want them running in and out of the room to get things. We want them to spend special, dedicated time with their clients. Now within long-term care, one of the elements of care that we continually need to think about is incontinence. And so one of the tools is incontinence products. Doesn't sound very exciting, but as far as a resident and the staff are concerned, it's an essential component to care delivery. So how do we help ensure that we're setting both our residents and our care team members up for success? Tammy, let's talk through the process that we developed. Well, we came up with the tenant product and we did Kanban cards for the system. And on the Kanban card, I'll just show you here, it's an indicator. Well, it has the resident's name on it. I got it covered, sorry. The room number, the product that it would use, the quantity, where it's located, and just a quick color brief, whatever it is. Because before we started this, again, like the linen, you'd come in here, you think what you, what you needed, you had. You get in here, you open up a drawer, no tenant product. Okay, I'll run to the closet, no tenant product. So that means I have to leave what I'm doing again, run to the tenor room to find a bag of attends, come back, distribute it wherever I could put it, and then continue my care. And again, I've just left my resident who has already been washed, is cold, wants to get up, and I had to leave. So it, it's nice because now we have what we need when we need it, we know where it is. Every we tried to have every room set up the same, so everything is in their bottom drawer, but we have a few residents where we've had to make exceptions and we put it in a closet, but it's identified on their card if it's in the closet or in the drawer. So it's, it's again, time-saving and more productive for us and the residents, so. So talk me through it, Tammy. So I'm in here providing care. I get to the bottom drawer and I think, oh, this resident needs some incontinent products. I go in there. Then I notice that I have maybe five left. Then you would what happens? At that time, you would take your Kanban card, this one here again, you get down to your four products, you take your card, and if you're, it's morning care, so you don't want to run and fill it up right away. We would take it and we'd go put it on our cart, and then when we're, you know, dismantling our cart, cleaning it up, we take our Kanban cards then and we take it to the tenor room, and we take what we need and we come back and we fill the drawers or the closets, whatever we need it. But there is a standard that if you get down to four products, that you go and refill the products so that you're not running down to one attend for the next guy. So it's, it's worked out well. So it's that concept of one piece flow. So that the care team member will continue with their round, continue providing care, and at the end of that care delivery process for the morning, that's when they'll fill. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, what would have happened is the client would, or the staff member would have been providing care to the resident, go to get an incontinence product, they realize, oh my gosh, I need something, stop what they're doing, go get the product, come back. Wasting time, not good for the client, not good for the staff member. So we've instilled this concept of one piece flow, mm -hmm. which is smoother, which is seamless, and indeed, quite frankly, it's faster as well. So Tammy, we've got a pretty high resident turnover here. And indeed, it's also important to keep up with our staff to make sure that our team members are also aware of the processes of, have, that have been put into place. Mm -hmm. So can you talk through how that works? Well, we, we have our standard of work, but um, on 3.5 especially, I was finding the turnover was too fast for me. And even our products, they were losing too much weight and we'd have to change a product. And every room had a standard printout card I was fine and I, I couldn't keep up, so I decided to just make a bunch of blanks and then I added a ten of product change sheet. So if the staff found that the product wasn't proper, they could make them changes themselves without having to wait for me to come to work and, and get this done. So this is nice, they, I provide them with a marker and blanks. I leave it here in this little sleeve, I had them put the sleeve up here. And so everything is here. And then we have our checkout product. So again, when you bring your card in that ha identifies, you always make sure that it's right. And then you find the product on the shelves. And it seems to be working really well so far. 
Right. So again, it's that concept of setting our team members up for success. Mm -hmm. We recognize that time is pressed and we want to help ensure that they can do what they want to do, what they've been trained to do, and that's look after residents. Right. So anything that we can do to help support them to do that is A-OK. -okay. Yeah.